Bonjour guys, welcome to a brand new video today on the channel and bros today it will be a different one than usual because Vincent and I we're gonna give our truth uh, regarding the FIFA 19 game as a whole right now we invite you to do the same in the comment section because bros we need to talk about this issue right now before we heading to FIFA 20 because I don't want to leave the same experience again and again and again so bros, let us know your thoughts in the comment section now. Let's start this video with our thoughts right now bros. We are tired of this game. To be fair, we're already in February, five months into the game. And I do feel right now bros, completely burn out with FIFA 19 because we run the road to glory. No FIFA points. And if we want to, to, to stay updated, if we want to, to compete against other FIFA users, we have either to spend our life playing this game or... Just put Use insane, the exactly insane amount of money into this game, which we don't want to do because we are completely against this robbery. Yes. So first thing first, we are making this video on this Friday evening, one hour after the new promotion of the best prime moment is been released. So we're gonna base our video mostly around the new promotion that EH Sports are running at the moment. If you guys are living on the rock, EH Sports released an hour ago some really, really interesting, some really appealing players to pack, of course, uh, in the store. Right now, you can pack Pelé, Nanina, Maradona, Naniet, uh, Gullit, Vieira, as all some great players. But guess what is the problem? The first problem is that none of them are on the market. One hour after the promotion has been released, when there's a lot of pack promotion mana in the store. There's some ultimate pack, that's great. That means, after one hour the promotion is out, there's only one Patrick Vieira on the market. For me, that's a problem because you can say whatever you want. For me, as long as you start a promotion, the pack weight needs to be high for the squad like that. There's a lot of supply for them. That's, a huge, that's for me a huge issue. No Maradona, no Gullit, no Pelé, one Vera. Thanks God, if I want to buy him, he's 9 million. He's, most, he's, he's more expensive than Cristiano Ronaldo, team of the year. Are we on the same page yet, sports and us? Are we on the same page? No, we're not. Are we on the same page right now? I don't, I don't for me. Please tell me what is the strategy of EH Sports right now? What is the strategy of EH Sports to release five months, five months into FIFA 19, a new promotion like this? Based around packs. Based, Based around, around packs. packs Where well, you can already pack some players who are better than the prime version itself. Yeah, like, it, makes I don't, it makes no sense for me. It makes, it makes no sense, no sense from, for, for us. But for EA Sports, it's all clear, clear in our mind. They want to take our money. And Buzz, I'm going to be honest with you guys. We thought about this earlier with Vincent. And we do think that for FIFA 20, I don't think EA Sports will be allowed to sell FIFA points again. Therefore, they want. They will try to milk us down they will until try FIFA twenty. They will try to milk us the, down, bros, to take all of our money possible towards FIFA points. So we buy more packs. So we put more money into this game. So like that for FIFA twenty, they will have made even more cash, boss. Here's my thoughts. Here's Don't my, buy FIFA points. Here's please. my no no. You can do whatever you want. Here's my thoughts about this. If your guys were not aware, uh, at the end of January, EH Sports uh, will not didn't were not allowed to sell FIFA points anymore in Belgium. I think this will have a huge impact within the next few months. I don't think EH Sports will be allowed to sell FIFA points in FIFA 20 just for the fact that it will be unfair for the EH Sports scene. Yeah. EH Sports since FIFA 17 want to push 100% the eat sports scene. That's why in food there is no more a fun game mode. Yeah. If they have listened, if they would have listened to the FIFA community, they would have been releasing since FIFA 18 a fun game mode, like a party game mode where there is no red card, no offside, where you can use the players, uh, all the red inform that you have in your club. They would have listened to the community that would have implemented this since FIFA 18. But they want to push the e sports scene a lot. With no FIFA points in Belgium, they will not be allowed to sell FIFA points for FIFA 20, in my strict opinion. Here's my thoughts about this. That's why they, draw, they want to release some promotion after promotion. The future star, uh, what did we have as well? The, the headliner, uh, what else? The, the, the best prime moments. Bros, 
let's let's not play ourselves. Rana, they want to milk the FIFA community. Yeah. I don't mind this. What I mind, what I do mind about this, I want to play. I want to actually play the game. I want to have the control in my hand. I want to score goal with the player that you advertise FIFA 19 on. Yeah. Mid August, you advertise with some wonderful trailers. Gulit, Yevlachin. Uh, I want to. Uh, Pram, Pram Gulit, uh, Pram Ronaldo, uh, Pram Ronaldo uh, Pelé, Maradona, uh, Worse, Eusebio, Cruyff. I want to play with those players now. I want to play with them, with that prime version right now. I'm tired of waiting. It has been five months. It has been five months now. The only good one, prime best, prime Ferdinand. That's it. And even then, that was like... That's it. Yeah, that's it. After I want to play with some players Man, that you real. advertise your game on. Maradona prime, Pelé prime, Vieira prime, Eusebio prime, Gulli prime. The only way for you right now to play with one of those... Open your wallet, put the credit card, and that's it. And pay, and pay it Sports. Right now, I, I love this game so much, I love this game so much. And you can say whatever you want. I'm, I'm telling you my truth and honest opinion. Rana, what it Sports is doing, it's not good. Because they're thinking about not even 1% of the community. If you want your game to be held successful, if you want to have a successful game when people are happy and have the banana on their face, whenever they turn your game on, Think about the 99%. Don't think about the 1%. Don't think about the thing that will make you more money. Think about the casual. Today, bros, we finally got our first Ruud von Nistelrooy SBC. The first ever prime best moment icon. For some of us, it's a blessing. At first, it was like, oh, okay, finally, they're going to start releasing some of the best ones. Ruud von Nistelrooy. I never played against once Ruud von Nistelrooy. Look how many games we have played. Look at our record. Almost 2,000 games yes. in mid-February. Never seen Ron, Ron, Ruud Van Nistelrooy. I don't know what his face look like in game, bros. Just, just to let you know, I've never played against him. So, we check the challenges. 11. Whoa. First of all, boys, that's not a meta card. We do get 11 challenges. Okay, the typical bronze, silver, team of the players. All right. Then we check 88 rated squad. 87 rated squad, 86 rated squad, 85. You do need two 85s. You do need two 85s, an 83 and 84. You do need in total one icon. I don't mind. It's a best icon moment. An icon seems fine. Yeah. 15 in forms. 15. An 88 and an 87 and an 86 rated squad. For Ru Ruud van Nistelrooy. Oh man. Like for Ruud van Nistelrooy. This SBC or Bros run on Fitbin is a little less than 2 million coins. 2 million coins on an untradeable card. Are you, taking, are you taking the piece ES Sports? Like for me, I want, I want the best for, for, for the game. And I do think it's Sports. If you want to release those prime moments icon as an SBC, which is a great idea. Well, don't make it that expensive. It's don't, yeah, don't make it that expensive. The FIFA cycle is already dead. We all know the game is about to be dead within a couple of weeks, within a few weeks. Because that's the way it goes with FIFA. There's a lot of hype at the start. The first couple of months are great. Because everybody's everybody's playing few champions. Everybody's grinding. Everybody's having fun. Depending on the gameplay, depending where you live, that's another issue as well. But in overall, the first couple of months are good. We get a lot of new cards, a lot of cool content. But after a few months, we all know the FIFA cycle is becoming dead. Since Apex Legends have been released, a lot less players are playing this game. Almost nobody is playing the game during the week. Almost nobody is playing during Future Champions, even okay. because the rewards are fucking trash. Since the start of the year, they have, they have not fixed the Future Champions rewards. The Division Rival rewards, they have been fixed, but it's a disgrace because the higher division you're in, you get, you get the worst rewards possible. That's not even that's not even fair on this sport. Then, finally, after a few months, we all know the game is dead now. Just pu yep. pumping out the SBC, pumping out this content for for the casual to enjoy this gameplay. So let us enjoy the only football game we have. I don't. I, I, I'm a football lover. All I want is to play with the best card possible without putting any money on this game. You take. You can take a look at this team. It's a splendid team. I have no regret whatsoever when I play with those cards. However, I still want to upgrade my players. I still want to something to grind for. Because bros, right now, 
if we want to be if we want to be able to afford the best icon moment of Hulit, we either have to spend eleven thousand dollars on FIFA points, or we we grind like whole year for one single one single card. And that's not fair yet, sports. That's ju- that is just not thinking about the community. And this is why after you ask us about any type of bros, uh, do you guys enjoy this right now? Do you guys enjoy this now? You're gonna ask all the game changers their thoughts. They're gonna give their thoughts to you, but you're gonna say nothing. You're gonna do nothing because what you want is only thinking about the money. And I know your business. I know it's important to make profit, but the profit should never go before the enjoyment of the community. You don't even think about the player right now. You only think about your wallet. We've been saying this. Like, we've been I'm, saying getting, this. I'm, getting, I'm getting triggered right we've now. We've been bro, saying this bro, since the start and since FIFA 18. But the, the main issue for me is that I don't understand the strategy of EA Sports. I mean, of course, the main strategy, the, 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 the main thing is to get more money. And for me, I don't understand. I don't really understand why you uh, put a promotion like the best prime moments where if I want to play with someone like Gullit, He's instinct after one hour. And if he's on the market, he's not like not even the pro players can afford him because they are just way too expensive. So either you have to upgrade the packed weight or release more icon SBCs and affordable icon SBCs because that Von Nistel Roy, nobody will complete him. If you're right in your state of mind or except if you're a big Ruud Von Nistel Roy fan, Nobody will ever complete that SBC. And what if? And what if? What if? If you did complete during Team of the Year the best SBC, what if? What this if? one? Not sure. We don't know what what the what requirements if? will be. What if? Maybe we'll need to put a prime best, or what maybe if? you will have to do again the same SBC that will cost you two million coins when you for a plus 87, one, 89, 88. for a plus one rating upgrade and a dynamic picture. Because they sold you whenever that prime best SBC was out, they sold you the fact this was the prime icon best. When you were complaining that SBC, you knew, you knew that there will not be any better version of that best. Unfortunately, six weeks after, well, not even five weeks after, EF Sports released a better version of best. For me, bros, this is uh, this is a disgrace as a as a promotion and as a. As an action from EA Sports, and bros, right now, if you want, like, if you say to us, yeah, but what are the solutions? Don't buy FIFA points. You can do whatever you want with your money, but bros, right now, if you are still buying FIFA points in February, if you're not a content creator or if you're not making any revenue out of buying FIFA points, don't. I mean, don't don't waste your money, boss. I'm telling you this as a friend. Don't waste your money on this. After you can do whatever you want with your money. It's if you, you are earned, if you have earned it, you do whatever you want. You're all right, but I'm I'm telling you this as a friend, as an advice, as an advice, don't buy FIFA points. Don't buy FIFA points. You're just gonna make the game worse. And I've seen as well on Twitter, bros, that uh, that flashback Ibrahimovic does have more in-game stats that the uh, more in-game stats that the prime von Nistelrooy, which is just to show you that that von Nistelrooy is a pure scam. He's a, a scam. Utterly scam. It's, it's a scam. scam from EA Sports. So yeah, those were our thoughts about the new promotion. Uh, we got a little bit tense on one moment with Liam, but we love yeah. the game as a whole. That's why we're making this video. That's why I created that YouTube channel for, because I love this game so much. Oh, actually, I love football so much. That yeah. The only football game, uh, only football video game available for us is FIFA 19. That's why we play the game. Nonetheless, if another good... FIFA, uh, another, another good football video game would have been out. Bro, we would have played that game nonetheless. But yeah, those were our thoughts. Let us know, please, in the comments. Your thoughts about the promotion, about FIFA 19, about the state of FIFA 19 at the moment, and what will be your solution, maybe, to improve FIFA 19 as a whole. And as well, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of those videos or more FIFA 19 content yeah. on the channel. Nonetheless, my name is Vincent. My name is Liam and hopefully you guys uh, will have a sick weekend league, a sick weekend with your family. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you let us know your thoughts in the comment section. It has been your boy Liam and Vincent. Yes. Catch you guys tomorrow. Au revoir.